Hello students. Today our topic is Chapter 5, Class 7, Quality. Written by John Gosworthy. John Galsworthy was an English novelist and playwright. He was educated at Harrow and studied law at New College, Oxford. He travelled widely and at the age of 28 began to write, at first for his own amusement. He had written a considerable number of novels, short stories and plays. His notable works include The Four Sides Saga and its sequel, A Modern Comedy and End of the Chapter. He won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1932. Now theme and message of the story. The main theme of the story, quality is devotion towards work. Every person who does his work with passion and perfection is an artist of his work. In this story, Kessler brothers never cheat anybody and did their work with full perfection. They were determined to do their work to their full satisfaction and never bother about the hardships and struggles that came in their path. But it's really very hard to believe when such perfection does not get any recognition and success. So dear student, this story is based on that some persons do their work perfectly and with passion, but still they are not getting any recognition in their life. Now let's, let's discuss the story in brief. Quality is one of the well-known stories of Mr. Gessler, a German shoemaker who used to live in London. Mr. Gessler was the person who was known as the best shoemaker in the town and he also used best leather. The Gessler brothers shop was run by two brothers who made beautiful boots. The story starts with the description of the boot shop. On top was the nameplate Gessler brothers. A few shoes displayed on the window. You can see in the picture also. That few shoes are displayed on the window. They make shoes on order. The narrator then narrates one of his meeting with Mr. Kessler. He says it has been possible to go to him much because the shoes he made have lasted very long and are the best of their kind. So here the narrator in his meeting told to the Kessler brothers that their shoes are the best one. One day the narrator goes to their shop to get a pair of Russian leather shoes. Mr. Kessler retreats upstairs and comes back after some time holding a fine golden Russian leather piece. After the narrator's approval he says he will get his shoes tomorrow fortnight. One day the narrator goes to their boat shop and tells him that the last shoes he got from him creak. So here the narrator is complaining about the shoes that he purchased last time. After a long pause, Mr. Gessler asks him to bring the shoes to him and he assures that if he can't repair them, he will give the money back. So here Mr. Gessler who was very much particular about the quality ensures the narrator that if he couldn't do anything about it, he would return the money back. Another day, he goes to Gessler Brothers. Who, who went to Gessler Brothers shop? Narrator. To order a new pair, wearing a pair of shoes, which he got due to some emergency from a big firm. Mr. Gessler at once recognized that the shoes are not made by him. He touches a particular spot, means place, on the narrator's shoe where it isn't comfortable for the narrator and says that it hurts there. He expresses his contempt 
that those large firms attract customers through shiny impressive advertisements to sell their inferior quality products so here contempt means pain he expressed his pain then the author explains to him under what circumstances he had to buy those shoes the narrator's new shoes lasted nearly 2 years in his next visit he receives a shock when he enters the shop he sees the younger gessler brother who informs him of elder gessler's death that day he orders several pairs it takes longer to make them but the quality is even better than the previous ones soon after the narrator leaves for abroad and returns after over a year the first shop he goes to is mr gessler's mr gessler now 75 is unable to recognize him at first narrator gives a huge order the wait is longer than ever but the quality only gets better so here the narrator is saying that the quality was getting better and even at the age of 75 he was providing the customer the same quality after a week while passing the little street the narrator thinks to go in and tell mr gessler that the boots are perfect but when he goes to the place where the shop was the name is no longer there he got disturbed he goes into the shop and a young english face greets him wishes him the narrator inquires inquires means wanted to know about mr gessler and comes to know of younger gessler's death upon hearing this the narrator is quite shocked the young man explained to him that gessler died from starvation he used to devote himself to shoe making so much that he used to forget about everything else all the money went in the rents and leather the fate fate means luck fortune was quite obvious from the beginning but both the narrator and the young man agrees that gessler brothers made good quality boots see so here we can get to know that those who are providing quality they are suffering some way or the other way but still they didn't compromise with the ethics that they just want to provide good quality in their life and they did what was the best one i hope you enjoyed the story thank you have a nice day